This week on Pivot with Purpose. You're 63, seven yes. children. Mm-hmm. Your youngest? Um, 16. How many babies, mamas? Seven. It couldn't be no other way. The oldest is how old? 37. Are they all over the country? Um, not all over the country, but they're in a few states. <laughs> 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 it's called living the dream in my world. What dream? Uh, that's, that's not that's the what, that's, that's the TK the, dream. That's the American. Your your that is American not... dream. My dream is my dream. Let me have my dreams. I tell people now, even though you love your children, if you're not with the father or the mom, a child is a bookmark. It reminds you of the f-ing mistake you made that night or nights for the rest of your life. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Pivot with Purpose. Today is a special one. I was actually headed out to Tampa to go to Hollow Scream and hang out. Funny story on that. I was going on a date with this guy and he canceled on me. He's a single dad. Okay. So his daughter, I can't complain too much. I get it. Daughter said can't come. So I went ahead and called somebody else and I said, hey, going to Tampa. You want to roll? He said, yes. Yeah. So we rolling. Oh, cool. You know, it's okay, like, okay. I am, I realize it's been almost two years. I am the definition of single. Like, okay, I respect that. All caps, sing. I've never been this single in my life. Right. And I don't know how ready I am today, but you know, let's call somebody up. Okay. Instead of just go have a good time. I'm not like I'm trying to do anything. Right. But just have a good will, will time. Will you take advantage of them if the opportunity? Not this one. Not this one? Not this okay, one. Okay, you're not feeling that person like that. This one, this one's, the, no, this is just, we're just okay. going to chill. Now, how, and, and if you wanted, because I could tell you a boss. Mm-hmm. So if you wanted to sleep with someone, how would you pull it off? I don't even know what that looks like. Like, anymore. would you seduce a person, buy a person a drink? You're sleeping in the same hotel Honestly, room. every time that anything has happened for me, so I have two left feet. Okay. Somehow my bad dancing and my loud mouth makes them to fall in love with me, so it's I don't hilarious. have to do much. That'd just be like... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just get to dancing and they're like, I love the fact that you have no rhythm and I'm like, I know. That's hilarious. <laughs> I know. <laughs> hilarious. But this voice that you hear, um, I did a little research. I always this knew who he was just... because, you know, he is about... Uh, 95 years old so he's been along for a while three four five different generations he's yes. an actor he's a stand-up comedian he's a podcast host right. we're in a podcast right now he mm-hmm. is a writer mm-hmm. so i found out mm-hmm. um he is here for his comedy show at the orlando improv and he has writing credits and like are they are there any questions you've been on bt's comic view mm-hmm. laugh palooza mm-hmm. did you do def jam no no Def Jam? No. So that, this BET comic view that yeah, I remember. B, yep. So he is known. TK, did I get all that right? Yeah, you got all of it right. You got all of it? You got a lot of, oh, there's a lot of new stuff What's the there. new stuff? The new stuff is- Well, podcast um, is new. Yeah, podcast is new. Um, um, stand-up, com- you stand-up still do, produce, you're still I, doing? I have my own company. I will produce my own stand-up specials. Okay, so and they you have a special out? Well. Yeah, one is called- um, um, T to the MFK, that's the latest one. Okay, and where's that um, at? That's actually on, I have my own network as okay. well called TK.network. A lot of people do Netflix. I have my own okay. called TK because I try to get all the money. Gotcha. And then I sell it to Tubi and everybody else, so gotcha. I do that. So this is, this is my third one. One is called Are There Any Questions? And one is called Who Raised You? All done very, very well. I did I'm see you, Who Raised You on there. Yeah. Well, TK Kirkland is here. You should be proud. Yeah, I'm proud of that. You should be proud. I say he's 75. He's 63, actually, not far. Yes. So, you know, shout out to you being here yes. on this earth as shout long as you have. Shout out to the senior have. citizens. Absolutely. You yeah. might be the oldest person I've ever interviewed. Wow, awesome. No, not might. You are. Okay. Yeah, outside of my <laughs> grandma when we just hang out. Right. But yeah, you're definitely the oldest person I've ever interviewed. Um, before we get started with the podcast, this was all so nice, but it's going to get real in a second mm-hmm. because if you know anything about TK, he's controversial. Um, the old is not just age, sometimes thinking too. So Apple Podcast Review, shout out to everybody who leaves an Apple Podcast Review. It helps tremendously to grow this show, whether it's on YouTube or Apple. I usually use one, choose one of the two. So today we're going to do Korean Barbecue 86. And it says, hello, Carla. Shalom. Is that how you say it? Shalom. Mm-hmm. S-H-A-L-O-M. Mm-hmm. What is that from? I have no idea. Me neither. Shalom. I'm going to be real. I just love your vibes, who and what you represent. So I know this show is bomb, period. I will be honest and say I've only heard and seen maybe two episodes. Thank you for your honesty. But I will make sure to watch one every day moving forward. And as I watch, I definitely will show and tell you what I think as I go along with your Pivot Podcast journey and continue finding my purpose. God is love. Shout out to her. I love that. Okay. Because it's been, we just had our 200th episode. Wow. Awesome. So this technical will be like 202 or 203, mm-hmm. something like that. And I've been podcasting for five years. 
And five years in, there's new listeners literally daily. Absolutely. So it's the beauty of podcasting that you people will start listening from years ago. And I'm like, I'm not even that girl anymore. Right, that was right. so long ago. Right. And now to be here and it's like still new listeners, I love the fact that they can find it and relate to the new me. You know, mm -hmm. by this time I say I'm like Carla 5.0 within the past five years. Okay. So many things have changed. So thank you for the Apple Podcast review. If you have not left one yet, please do so. Now, we started the podcast with Carla on air. You know, it's a new thing for me to be on radio after I got back to Orlando from Jersey. Mm. Yeah. Uh, who? Jersey. Anyways, Jersey. He's, so he's from Jersey. So y'all already know. Jersey. Garbage. Jersey. I don't know what comes out of it. Who else came out of Jersey? Oh, man. Flip Wilson. Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, old comedian. Okay. Old comedian. We have a lot of celebrities come out of Give me out another one. Give me one that we Give would be proud more? of. Oh, man. We the, can't um, even stop. Cool in the Gang. Who is that? You don't know who Cool in the Gang is? No. Spike and Cool in the Gang. The, the, Showing the, your the, age. The Manhattans. Come on. Give me somebody from like at least the 90s. Um, Joe Button. Jesus, you don't want to rep that one. Yeah, Joe Button is from <laughs> Jersey City. <laughs> Joe Button. You know, All right, we'll just, it's a long list. Let's call it, let's just call it right there. We'll just go ahead and say he's from Jersey. I lived in Jersey for about eight, well, I lived in Jersey twice. I lived okay. in Teaneck okay. for a I year in 2006. I yesterday. And I lived in Alpine okay, beautiful for another year. Places. Yeah. Um, both of them hate him. Okay. So not for me. Up north is not for me anyway. Florida, Orlando yeah. is my place. So yeah. here I stay. If you're from stay. Florida, you want to stay in Florida. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Mm -mm. The Over weather, there, the, brown. Way, the, 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 the way the city moves. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I mm -hmm. don't like it. So we're going to start with Carla on air. And this is usually something, an article or something that's going on that I, you know, want to talk about. Mm -hmm. So Love is Blind, I'll be shocked if you've ever seen it. No. No. Okay. So Love mm -hmm. is Blind is a series of, da a dating show on Netflix. I sometimes like to unwind and I'll fall asleep every time so it takes me forever to finish a season of something okay. but I'll watch something that makes that has nothing to do with work or like development or you know, just you know trash TV mm -hmm. to get it so Love is Mine is going on and I want you to picture this this is a scenario that happened so these people are in pods they don't see each other and you have to fall in love with someone okay. after talking to them for like 10 days and propose because you're talking to them constantly propose like marriage yes oh man and then, so you here's how the show works you're for 10 days in these pods you date a bunch of people you see who you connect with you don't know what they look like where they're from how tall they are like you know nothing about right. them you just talk to them Off through a wall yes so all these days so finally you know that connection you fall in love with them you propose then you meet each other and you see what you look like. Then they send you off for, I think it's like four weeks to an island. Okay. And it's like a honeymoon type of, or pre-honeymoon. Right. And then they put you in a in an apartment for another four weeks until your wedding. Man. So you get married in like eight weeks from right. meeting each other face to face. Well, now there's this couple, and I want you to picture this. Now they got back to their apartments, and they go and see each other's real apartments where you really live. Mm. Now... Here's the scenario. You're like on this fifth date with this person, right? You're getting to know them. You really like them. Then you go to their house eventually, right? Because we're grown. Mm -hmm. Now, everybody here is the 30, at least 30 to 35. Okay. Right? You go to their house and he's like, I'm going to cook you dinner. The guy, this is the man. I'm going to cook you dinner and, you know, I'm going to make you steak and potatoes, probably a little asparagus on the side, a mm -hmm. salad, a little wine. And she's like, absolutely. I mean, I would, I would eat. Right. Give me a steak. So you walk in and then she's like, well, let me help you plate everything because now you're done cooking. So I'll right. help you plate everything so we can sit down. You open up the cabinets and the man has plates, um, spoons and forks and stuff mm -hmm. and cups. But it's paper plates, solo cups and silverware that's plastic. OK. He does not own dishes. OK. No dishes. Yes. You're somewhere between 30 and 35. OK. Um. How do you feel about that? You, I don't think you should judge anyone. Of course you would say that. Yeah. I love that. I don't think you should you. judge anyone. I, I think um, with me, it's everything's based on who raised you. Everything is based on who raised you. So if he's moving he's, that way. Okay, but we can all get raised, but at yeah. some point we're adults. No, you're not understanding. There's some parents who are just horrible car. Okay. Let's now take accountability for ourselves. We're now adults. Right. So I understand our parents raised us there's one way. There's grown people that don't Never have, grew up. Yeah, but there's grown people who don't have plates. Why? Grown, I have no Why idea. Why are you on a dating show trying to find you a wife when you don't have plates? You, you, but you're profiling, you're criticizing, and, and to hear 
you do that is is kind of strange. Okay, well here's the Cause thing. Because you, you're so because you're so amazing, uh, for you to judge that guy so hard. I if you're broke, you shouldn't be dating. I agree with that. Okay. Oh, we agree on something. Might I be do, the only thing this whole. Episode. I do agree with that. Okay. I believe that a man and woman, uh huh, everybody should work hard and have themselves together first. Absolutely. And I mean, really have yourself together. You don't have to be a millionaire by any way, but you, you really need to be, to be able to cover all your bases and live comfortably. To 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 enhance the woman or the man that you're going to date. Absolutely. People think I'm crazy when I talk like that. No. But it's it's a fact. Like. You don't want to be broke, but you want to have a little something. Yeah. At least go to a movie. At Th- least please. Get slices, to at least pay your bills before you bring another man or woman into your If life. you're coming and inviting me to your house to eat, at least have two. The dollar store yes. literally has now, do you think somebody? Need, I, we're going to go back to being grown. But 30 to me is not grown. I think we talked about I that I mean, earlier. at 30, I think at this point, we're still defining our our careers, who we are. We're still learning. You mature a little bit. But we're talking about specifically here, paper plates. Paper plates. I, I totally agree because not I believe one in- one dish, like a uh, fork. How I, am I going to cut the steak? I believe everything that you're saying. But what I've seen around the world, it, it, I'm very disappointed. Even to hear what you're telling me, mm-hmm. that a man 37 years old, has paper plates. So there was something else that happened. Okay. She goes through his things and opens the drawer in the bathroom and he has a sex drawer. What is a sex drawer? When different women leave earrings or a ring or something, he just like throws them in a drawer. And when she opens it, he's like, oh, it's just like from random women that have been here and they've left little things and he has, why not just throw it away? I feel like that's so immature. It's not immature to the guy, but at least hide it. It's not immature to keep because it's not, they're, those things? they're not they haven't moved in together yet. No, let's say right? you're a single man. Why yeah. are you keeping a drawer listen full of said. earrings and rings? Listen to what you said. Mm-hmm. He's single. You could do whatever you want to do. Absolutely. Two is his place. So I'm asking you, what do you think about a man keeping a drawer where whenever a woman? I think some men have memories. Like I, back in the day, I used to keep women panties. I remember. Oh, I don't know if you should have admitted that. No, no, no. Back in the day, you said that out loud. Yeah, I, I, I how long, how long back in the day? I'm smooth. Like if, I, if I'm kicking it with you and I got you down, and I like when the girl lift up like that. Like you ever lift First up? First of all, person? you are 63 years old. Can you say woman? What did I say? Girl. Okay, well, woman. Then, but now you're trying to tell me I'm speaking. That's what the Lord told me to say. <laughs> Don't bring the Lord is Lord, Lord. Lord. It came. I am in your my humble mind, servant and, and talking came, to you. But right I now. like the way. Listen to me. All but right. I, I do like you hold people accountable. Yeah. I do like. That you should say certain things, but um, so say, I do. I so do you, say, let's go back I, to I this. Why woman. you held the? Why you were holding on to people's panties? I, it was just like a trophy thing for me. I used to. Uh, men have certain things that serial we serial like. killers do that. You know, you ever watch those Netflix documentaries? Yeah, you watch. The, see, that's the problem. You watch too many um documentaries. Thank God that I do, is, so is, I can. Is, those are all like you know hints. They really keep you have trophies. Allow, you have allowed. TV to mold. This is you. not TV. This is real life. Yeah, no. What you say? Ted about Bundy was killer, real. Yeah, what you saying is true. But Tim Bundy was in the seventies, so you know who killers are, though. But that happened in the seventies. He was extremely handsome. He was ho- and he was horrible. So I'm not saying that you're a serial killer or anything for now. But what was so just the trophy? Yeah, that was just it. to remember it. Yeah, not the it. memory in your brain wasn't enough. No, 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 no. Even though I could keep those too, but I don't do it now. But it was years ago. I mean, okay. that, was, that was my thing. Well, um, I think that the whole paper plate thing on Love is Blind, I think as a it woman- It could be a turn off. Absolutely. She's, so, a, she's a woman that owned her home, has a three-story home, has a very successful business. To me, paper plates represent the potential inability here's the for question. you to be able to give me the, the lifestyle that I already have. Here's the question that I want to ask you on that yes. situation. How does she respond? Oh, she clowned him. <laughs> but she stayed though, right? I don't know. I'm waiting for the other episodes. Okay. I guarantee you I'm she stayed. I guarantee I guarantee you she didn't leave. I guarantee you she did. You think so? Absolutely. Okay. All right. Absolutely. You, you want to put some money on it? Absolutely. Dollar. Okay. The episodes come out October 6th. So I'll okay. Let, you know. uh, let me know. And I'll give you my cash app. Right. I guarantee for a dollar? you she stayed. Yeah, I, do, I want let's, my dollar. Let's do 50. No, no. Okay. I'll do 50. 50? Yeah. I can do right. 50. That yeah. they didn't get married. I don't know, not, no, not that they got married, that she stayed, that like she didn't leave. Well, 
well, they're about to get married in eight weeks. The, the whole point of the show is like, do they end up getting married? Oh, no, no. I don't think she'll marry him. You know, I'm okay. just talking about the dinner thing. Like, she stayed to have dinner. That's what I'm saying. Oh, no. He wasn't cooking her dinner. I, tr- I switched the scenario. Oh, okay. Because so, they had already been through the pods and on okay, vacation. Okay. So when she walked in, she saw mature, that. she's mature, what like, you're Ew. saying, and she got her own place? She has her own place of White sex for business. White. Her father's a millionaire. She comes from a very affluent family. They... He wasn't rich always. I like would he, be shocked if she stayed, but no, she don't stay. She don't stay. No, she, she don't. There's no way she stays. No, I just feel stay. like that shows you that that shows me the inability of you being able to give me the lifestyle that I already provide for myself. Yes, but here's my next question: Why, with her being successful, she's on that show? Because I will say, the more successful you are <laughs> as a woman, it is harder to date. It's harder to date without having to find a stay-at-home dad or <laughs> a man that want to be taken care of. These men nowadays, right. they are sassy. Okay? They do want to be taken care of. Sassy. They're like, take care of me. And I I'm totally like, agree. where? I go, when I go on social media and I represent women like you, I talk how don't rep- no, I will rep- I represent us. Let you me, don't represent let, us. Let me, let me finish my <laughs> conversation. Thank you, darling. <laughs> I represent a woman, what kind of man she should look for. Okay. And the flack I get from guys because they think that I'm crazy, but they really think the way you're saying they want to be taken care of. And I und- and I, I don't have get no it. problem providing certain things. Right, I right. have no problem with that. Yes. But I'm not taking care of you. And well, I'm not going to you. fix your fuck ups. Yes, Who's a child? Yeah. Here? I totally um, agree. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fix your 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 mistakes. I'm not gonna because if you don't listen to me. Also, we all have weaknesses and strengths. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I know my strength mm-hmm. is business. And how would you better a person if you was dating them? Oh, like if man. They, if they had certain I, things and you like that, you got to like that person. I got to like But you, you really like that person. Mm-hmm. What would you, how would you better that person's life? I would make sure that my, if my strengths are their weaknesses, I can implement that. So okay. if your weakness is growing a business. Okay. I will go ahead and what I do for my clients, I'll do for you. Okay. I respect that. You know, that. Mm-hmm. and I'll look at what you got going on and say, hey, maybe let's try this strategy instead. Okay. Let's do like whatever. That. But it takes a very secure man to let me lead in that way because they might feel like, oh, this is a woman telling me what to do in business. Most women are the heads of all these businesses that you see. I totally Some agree. of the most successful man, men that I've known have women mm-hmm. all over their team. Yeah. I totally agree. Like if you... Show me your business, and there's not a woman in a position of power. Mm-hmm. Where are you going? Yeah, I totally agree. That's yeah, that's tr- that's true. You, you, you mm-hmm. agree with yeah, me? I agree with you. Yeah, if there's no woman in your business, mm-hmm. you're going straight down. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I just that is what that brought to me. It reminded me of the fact that I can't just date anyone. Yeah, I agree. Because you have to be able to provide to me at least somewhat of the lifestyle that I already provide for myself. I agree. Which is kind of hard now. It's very hard. It's kind of, and that's what I tell women. And even yourself, the more successful you go up, the window of your of who you trying to meet is going to be low because you're not going to really find nobody on your level. What I want from a so man. So now, can you make a man an asset? Do you? Can you? Can absolutely. You I already like built a man him before. Who doesn't have much, but he has great character. Yes. He has. He's a, he's a good person. Mm-hmm. Would you? Because he doesn't have the money now. Mm-hmm. He's just money but, comes and goes. Yeah. He's a, he's he's going to bust his butt to. Do what he's doing. Absolutely. But you really like that guy. Yes. Would you Absolutely. make him an asset? Well, okay. It depends where I... Today, like, he's broke, broke? I'm just saying he's doing enough to what he, he's doing, but you like him, babe. You you really like this guy. You don't really care what he has. Let's say that there was someone that had it all and maybe made... Put something in the stock market and lost it and has to rebuild it back up. That's a fairy tale story. Uh, I want to go with more. Give me, give real. me a scenario. I'm What's the real? About he, he just works. And he's, he's a how nine old? To five guy. Oh, nine to five. I got in the problem. He's thirty something years old. He has paper plates. Nah, I'm not doing it. You're not doing it. Mm-mm. Okay, but I, you I, really like him. What do I like about now, him? Now watch this down. He has I like, paper I plates. I like watch mentality. what I'm doing. He has paper plates, but you like his mind. You, you, he has. It won't happen. He, he doesn't have a great job, but you like him compared to a guy who got it going on. But he doesn't stimulate your mind, but he doesn't turn you on either. Now you got a choice: which one you choosing? Well, here's the reality of that. Uh, this is my story. I hear you. Which one you choosing? A person that has money, but I he need, doesn't turn you I on. I need someone to stimulate my mind. So I'm not a very sexual person, like physically. I need someone to stimulate my mind, and someone who stimulates my mind. Is not a broke nigga. 
Okay. For you to be able to stipu- but stimulate stay this Stay focused brain, on me. I'm focused on what I just said, the scenario. This person- I'm taking whoever it, stimulates my mind. He's going to stimulate your mind. Yes. You can't be- I don't care how much money you got. You can't bore me. Okay. So you rock it with the person that's broke. But let me tell you something. For him no, to have- No, sti- you can't No, have for him to have stimulated my mind, he he would never be in that position. But what happened he is? Because there are people who- No, I've never met one. Never? That can stimulate my mind and has paper plates. Okay, I respect that. Now, get, don't get me wrong. I have paper plates. I got yeah. solo cups and I have, uh, I take all the stuff But you also from... have the other stuff too. Absolutely. Exactly. Like, you got to be versatile. Right. You can't tell me. I don't but mind paper plates. let's say that same guy who had the paper plates, mm-hmm. he has a little change. You know, he got a little, he got a little bit He would money. have at least some Ikea plates yeah. in his house. Yeah, and you don't really like the way he's moving. Say, so, baby, you got, you got, you're doing well for yourself. You got to get some, some real I, A man like hand. that, it would be like, the dishes would be ugly. And I'd be like, let's just change them out to right, something right, wide. Right. They would probably have like tacky ones. Right. I, can, I don't mind tacky ones, but at least you got some. Okay. Okay. You know, because we okay. can work with that. But okay. nothing. Mm-mm. Okay. I respect that. Okay. So that took way longer than I thought it would, but okay. it was a good conversation. I like yeah. it. So I, honestly, I do know you from comedy. Um, because we have people in common, but outside of that, I don't know much about TK Kirkland, right. right? I feel like there, even when I tried to Google, right, there wasn't much information about your personal life, Which your upbringing. Mm. I love that. Mystery right. man always toxic. Right. So <laughs> I want to know how many kids do you have? Mm, I have seven. You're 63, yes. seven children. Mm-hmm. Your youngest? Um, 16, a boy. Younger than mine? Yeah, okay. 16. Mm-hmm. All right, wow, it's 63. So, yeah, 63. so 63 minus 10 is 53 minus 6, 47? Yeah, about 57. That. 47, 47. 47, yeah. Yikes. Awesome. Whew. Yeah. Were there any sperm left at that time? Yeah. It's probably like the only one that came awesome. out like, oh, here's just me strangling yeah. along. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So you have seven kids. How many babies, mamas? Seven. It couldn't be no other way. One. Okay. Yeah. The oldest is how old? 37. Okay. My age. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, you grew up in Jersey. Mom and dad together? Everybody's deceased. But were they together? Yes, absolutely. They were, they married, were yep, married all the way through? Yep, since they was 18. Was that a relationship that you would say was like a healthy relationship? Yeah, it was healthy until they all died. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. <laughs> <laughs> They're fucking dead. <laughs> yeah, deceased. Yes. <laughs> all right. Well, what do you consider a healthy relationship or healthy marriage? Um, They provided for us. They loved their kids. I said, you were talking about children. Mom, Mom, dad, no, I'm they're to that. what you saw. I think I think that they provided the kind of man that I am today. Hard working, Ooh. honest, brutal. Um, and then you know how sometimes you got kids that'll go astray, mm-hmm. that'll do crazy things. How many get, how many siblings? Because you get off pad. Um two, but they're deceased as well. So it was three of you guys. Yeah, it was three. I was okay. the middle kid. So um they, they they're deceased too, but you know, in life you have um you have these moments where you can get off track. And I got off track for a while, did a lot of crazy things. And then came back on point, boom, and the rest of the TK, that's a lot. So unpack yeah. there alone. Your parents are gone. Your siblings are gone. And I asked you this morning when we were at the radio show, I was like, How, do you do therapy? Do you go to therapy? And you said no. No. Um, do you, f- that's a lot to like, I, I, go, I to I carry the, with you. I don't know the word, but um, my kids made me feel amazing one day. They was like, dad, I don't know how you do it because I don't know what you we would do. If all my brothers and sisters was going, my mom and dad. Are they all over the country? Um, not all over the country, but they're in a few states. <laughs> <laughs> it's called living the dream in my world. What dream? Uh, that's, that's not that's the a, that's, that's the TK like, dream. That's the American. Your your that is the American not... dream. My dream is my dream. Let me have my dream. So this was Thank your you. dream to have children no, with no, no, different no. women all over but the place. But what I've learned in life is not to complain. I've learned to accept my decision making, even okay. though I had something on the um post the other day i felt like if i had to do it all over again i wouldn't have any i'm actually children. gonna i'm gonna play the full i'm gonna play the full thing because yeah, I, I wouldn't have any children it. and the reason why i wouldn't have any kids the ability to control your life is it right Ooh, yes. think about it you have you have kids yourself i have kids i i have kids from us and if i had to do it all over again i don't think i have any children right. i love my kids i tell people now even though you love your children if you're not with the father or the mom, a child is a bookmark. It reminds you of the f-ing mistake you made that night or nights for the rest of your life. Yeah. Right, if it's not planned. If it's not planned. Exactly. This right. is why you that- gotta wear a condom, because all you gotta do, if you don't believe me, everybody, on Monday mornings, I want you to go downtown in your local area and go to child support court and sit in the fucking lobby <laughs> and you would think that you was going to a Future and Drake concert, seeing the people lined up 
in that okay it's for real so what is it you don't like about that there's a lot I'm where listening. do we start okay. okay so one you have seven yes i can understand one being an oops yes i was 17 when i got pregnant with my daughter yes. 18 when i mm -hmm. had her i will say that was like I fucked up mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. never happened again yes. why because once you know better, you do better. So you're trying to tell me that you know better, but you have a child that's 37. You also have mm -hmm. one that's 16. Yes. That is like 19 years difference. Yes. And for 19 years, you were still fucking up. Yeah. You were still, you're giving out this advice that you yes. don't even take yourself. But no, now the question should be, TK, what have you learned from that situation? Now, let me say Se It took seven no, no, no. children for it, you to learn something? Success. And now when you're shooting powder yeah. is when you learn? Well, I, not powder. I'm still <laughs> Like, you know, what? Don't, 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 there's don't, like nothing don't, left. No, there's nothing. You emptied it out. I'm, I'm still <laughs> healthy. But let me know. All right. So let me give you the story on this. And you can't teach nobody nothing. You ain't been through nothing. How much do you have to me, go through? Let, let me finish because what you're doing, you're playing judge here and you can't play judge. I won't judge. If go you, ahead. If, you, if you're going to be in this position and you're interviewing me, you well, have I'm to I'm not be, interviewing. I'm you, having you, a conversation. Talk that you have to be open-minded that Whew. people's lives are not always planned or strategized the way other people think their lives should be. Okay. So what I've learned in this 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 table, and, and a lot of comments, a lot of people think the same way that, that you um, think as well, right? But the thing about that story is not to be depressed, understand your life because I said it in there. I feel bad that I've done that uh, because I wish I could have been the traditional. Let oh, me finish. Let me finish. Traditional. Let me, yeah, let, me, let me finish my story. Sorry. You, you take forever. Yeah, but I like to talk slow. I've been telling this man, his, okay. he you talks like elevator music. You still interrupted me. Two and X. I, and the, I, ha and I have, I have a. If you keep interrupting me, I can't get my message across, and you come out looking like you really control this conversation, yeah. and I want to get my point across. Okay, so my point that I'm making is you, you go through life, you deal with certain things, and what makes a man a man to me is you accept the things you've done, but if you could teach people not to make the same choices that you made, not mistakes, choices that you made, mm -hmm. you, whether someone's in Ghana, whether someone's in Oakland, California, and they hear me say that, and they go, wow, I don't want to be in that same position that TK was talking about, and this is what I'm going to do so I don't end up in that same situation. Mm, it's just so you're that like I, a savior. You I had fuck to, it up real bad. So well, it doesn't matter if I'm do a it. savior. The purpose is we all are God's children, and we all have to do things to so give Lucifer. back. So I did what I had to do in that situation, and I apply it to the podcast, and I share with people. Now, different people are going to get what they want out of it. Like you. You look at it that way. You want to like, be Nick so bad. No, no, no. I'm older than Nick. So Nick, no. Wants to, Nick wants to be you. Yeah. So I'm older than him. My point that I'm Ooh. making, any man, if you can learn from my situation, find one woman if you can and stick with that one woman. I just and, and love me, how it's usually the the men that can't keep it in their pants the man that don't value a woman the man that can't be in a relationship mm -hmm. the one that goes and tells us go Both. find one woman you know who i'm going to take that advice from but, from the man that has had the one woman that's from the not man true. that knows how to value a woman that's not that true. has with their actions that's on a true. daily basis shown how they value and women that's who i want to take the advice from not you, the one who's still walking I'm, around state to state I'm putting gonna, their thing into anything i'm, I'm going to still tell you why that's wrong why is that wrong? Because you have so many people who are habitual liars. Yes. And 90% of men are habitual liars. You know 90% of Let men? Let me finish. Let me finish. 90% of men are habitual liars. The same way you got played in a sense having a kid. I got played. Yeah, you got played. You got played because you went for what the man was saying in this conversation. And it's not your fault. Most women are in that situation. Actually, it wasn't just that. No, no. Let me finish. But most women are in that situation. Most women get caught up so, in that no, situation. So, no, let me tell you something. If I were to be caught up by what people just say, I'm, I would have had 13 children okay, by now. Okay, so let me finish. Because I've, I've had men with the gift thought. of gab. Let me finish my thought. I know that okay, I'm talking sorry. slow. Ooh, but let Jesus. me finish my thought. Let's go. What I'm saying is there are so many women in that situation in life. There is no right path. There is no, you should do it this way. People no. do things. Things happen. But when do you People take that, accountability for not fixing your mistakes? When the kids are here, nothing you, you can't fix your mistakes. Again, you it, can only be do you, what you can. It takes a lot for you to create a child. Uh, it takes about a few minutes. You know what's crazy? A woman can only get pregnant within a 48-hour 
time frame right. of the 30 days. Yes. It's like 24 hours, 48 hours. And your point very is what? small. You know how I thought I was like, you know how much fucking you gotta be doing raw? Yeah. In order to procreate unless you have, seven unless, children um, not, with not, different women after, all the time. You're talking about over 30 something years though. No, we're talking about in over 19 years. Seven yeah, children. So, by children number three, let's say. Yeah, but that's your opinion, sweetie. That is just logic. It, it, it's, 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 it's millions of people and men that have had that type of situation. Right. And how again, much are you paying child support? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna pay nothing in child support. Ooh. Like I'm a good dad. Hold on, but you travel all the time. Yeah, They're but I'm all still different a good state, dad. But you don't pay child support. Why would I pay child support? So you take them to school every day. You take them to the doctor's offices. You take them to practice. I you mess take with them to women that got themselves together. Okay. And spoken and, and, like a true and, yeah, but, toxic yeah, man. But, you know what it takes physically. I would rather yes. today where I am uh-huh. today. I'm doing it alone. Yes. And it's hard. But you know how easy it is for me to go and work and make the money. I have to have a nanny, right? Yes, yes. And she has to, like this morning, I'm at the radio station. She got to take him to school. Yes. She sometimes has to take him to practice. But you, but you don't up. have no help. My kids, I help their mothers. That's their mother. How do you help them? With no, you're what? Not, if you're not there with time and you're not there with money, how are you helping them? Yeah, but you, I am there with time and I'm there with money. I how just, can I, you? Yeah. You're one person, seven kids, seven states. My kids are grown. When they weren't. I did it when they was grown. They didn't grow. When they, they were babies. So they popped out of the vagina at 30? Yeah. No, no, no. What I'm saying yeah. is, no. <laughs> no, what I'm saying to you, when my kids so was from born. So from one to, from zero yes. to 18, how yes, much? Me, a lot are, of time. And we're still close to the What are the ages? Day. Do you even know the ages? Yes, 37 to 16. No, no, no. Give me six. Yeah, 37, um, um, 32, 26, 22, um, 21, and 20, and 16. So you have three that are a year apart. Oh, absolutely. So, and they're all in the same state? No. So when those three kids, let's just focus on three out of the yeah. 17 you got. Those three, they're growing up and they have to do like that those first five years of their lives. Yes. How often could you have possibly been? That's there? true. But so what's were you your, paying child support so then? So what's your, I don't pay child support. Okay, we're gonna move on. <laughs> we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. Like, why would I pay child support? I'm not a bum. Because did you pay for their school? Of course. Okay. So by But child- you talk but you talk so fast you don't let people get their thoughts out. You just kept saying I don't pay you, child you, support. You you you're a judge. You, you, no, 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 no. You kept saying I don't pay child support. You put people on the Okay, so no, all these When I say I pay, pay No, no, let's make sure we're clear. It's very important because I got my friend, my so fans. Child support, let me thinking, let what? me finish my thought, darling. Oh, two X. Thank you. Boop. Yeah, make sure. When I say don't pay you say, so that's the, the communication gap. Okay. When you saying what do I pay? You think in child support, I'm not giving anything. I'm saying I take care of my babies. Okay, what does that look like? Yeah, it looks like you take care of your Can you explain to me what it looks like yeah, for you to have taken put care of the school, kids? clothes, trips, etc. Okay, um, what about they live in the house with their mom 24 yes. 7, right? Yes. They live in their home. So do you right. pay any of those bills in their house? Yes, I did. They you grown did. now. Uh, we're we're going to focus Yeah, when they was down. when they were kids, yes. So the 16 year old not right now. So you yes. still have one that's underage. Yes, age. and what, well taken care of. What does that look like it's right amazing. now today? It's amazing. What does it look like? What do you mean what it looks like? For the 16 year old right now, what does that look like? How do you take care of him? Um it's a boy, right? visit, we hang, go to games, etc. School? Yeah, Pay he for goes him? to school. Yeah, I don't, I don't take him to car? school. No, he's 16. No. So who drives him to school? His mom. So you pay for the gas? No. Do you pay for her car insurance? No. Do you pay for her car bill? No. Do you pay for her light bill? No. Do you give her money for food? Of course. How much? Whatever she needs. So every month you don't. I don't. I don't see. Here, so she has a, to ask you see, for see, it. See, here's the thing: the structure that most women, and this is how you're thinking. You're thinking I need X, Y, and Z. But there are some women on this planet who move a certain way, and when they need something, because if you got your stuff together, um, so how so, about you get your stuff together? Some too? women will say. Baby, I need this, and it's done. Baby, that- you know you are my baby's daddy. No, 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 no. We made a mistake, there right? You, remember? There, there you go again with the energy and your toxic energy. I don't mind. And, and and the, and the I way. Matter of let fact, me finish. Please. And your energy influences negativity. You're not. No. You don't stay calm. Listen to what I'm saying. Okay, go ahead. I'm I'm giving you my point. When you do all that, and in, in, in the tone of your voice creates that type of energy. Okay, I'll speak so softly. what I'm saying to you is. There's people on this planet that just totally move a different way. You're not child support. You're not a judge. Mm-hmm. All not you can do is say what you would like for your life. Mm-mm. You can't say what's good for somebody else's life because everybody moves There is not one mother. Find me one 
mother mm -hmm. in this world, I don't care what language they are, what country they're okay. from, one mother uh -huh. that is okay with raising time wise mm -hmm. I'm listening. and financially mm -hmm. their child with the dad saying, Yeah, I'll throw I a know couple five dollars. of them. Call them right now. No, I'm not going to call them. I want you to call one woman right no, now to I mean, tell me. No, I'm no, cool no, no. I don't do that. But I thought so. No, 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 no. I thought so. I'm 63. We don't one do that. Woman. Let, me explain, to, who she let is? me explain to you what I mean. Quick. When, you, when you're grown, ah. when you're grown, five, 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 you, five, do, not one you will don't speak. have to move that way. When you're grown, you don't have to prove that. What well, I'm saying we're having, to, we're having a conversation yes, to educate but, other people. And if you can show me one woman. But I'm sharing with you, you should know. I'm not taking your word for it. You're not a woman. But you still got to keep an open mind. You cannot. I am, and I want to hear it. Let me finish a second. You cannot say, you know for a fact, that's how people move. I'm telling you. You cannot do that. On this, you you're not can't. Gonna... You're basing it on your own personal no, journey. I'm telling you. I got 33 years on you. You're not a woman or a mother. It's not. It's, I'm so not saying. So you can't speak to me on that. And if I'm you not... tell me you know five Listen women to what I'm saying. that are cool. If you're saying that you're right, what makes you think I can't be right? Because you have no idea what it's like. You're not never understanding. Done it. You're asking about what's right. No, I'm I not. Have to, I have to respect your I think, pit. okay, so maybe you, you, Ms. Met, you Ms. lost Collins, in listen, translation. You have to make sure. You just be talking. And yeah, people you have up to make sure you understand talking. one thing. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Mm -hmm. Everybody has their own experiences. And Correct. one thing you can't do is, to, especially a sixty-three-year-old, you can't you stop you, throwing your hundred years on I this gotta, earth. I gotta throw that into you so because just because it, you're sixty-three doesn't make you wise. It makes you wisdom. No, it, it does, does not. What well, gives me wisdom? <laughs> I can't speak for the men that you probably met in your journey, so, but I know I got my I shit together. What I will say is, there's no way in hell you're going to tell me, and we're gonna move on because then if you're not gonna call her, it's not gonna make no point okay. in talking about it. Well, but you, there's no way in hell you're gonna ever convince me without calling her yes. and show me one woman that says I'm cool. We're taking I have care to, of... Okay, so, and, but you have to respect my opinion, too. That's, I'm not talking about opinions. Yes. I'm talking about prove to me and show me one but, woman. But in, when, you, when, you're certain, when you move through life a certain way, ah. you don't have to prove. The, the, the great thing about it is ah. we're on air and people will make their own decision. And here's the thing. There's not one woman that chose about to, to have you. a baby with someone that they didn't think Watch they were going to be Watch what I'm trying there. to say. Time-wise. Watch what I'm trying to tell you. On my Instagram right now, I guarantee you're going to have people that are say. I'm down with that. If you're and on you're this live say, right now, DM me. I'm about to open up my DMs. If you're a you woman, know. no, 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 we're gonna, we, we, we can read it. No, I guarantee we, you. I, we ain't go, you gotta put your glasses on because you can't see, no, old no, don't man. Don't worry about me. Look at you. Like, you, you know what they say? See. She is annoying. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say. She's annoying. Well, television tells you, oh, tells your true vision. Keep my panties any day, TK. She's a narcissist. <laughs> um, what else? I told you. See, everybody moves a certain way. Thank you, guys. <laughs> What else? What this else? This is terrible. This, see how? Dang. That's what they're saying about dang, you, Dang. No, about you. No, 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 no. These my people. They're, they're exactly. These that's my the people. problem. This is my, yeah, this is and my this pe is why you so don't what, amplify certain so voices. So what I'm trying to say is that people move differently in life. And you have to respect that. That's what I'm trying to say. See, you nah. thinking you're getting on me. But these people are getting on you because you. With the, <laughs> the, this is coming from them. They watching you. They, <laughs> they and they, they have no idea who you are. Again, I just want one but woman to tell me. No, no, no. You, okay you're missing that. again. They are watching you, and this is pure. So, this is, and I don't. I get it because the way that I. Come I'm not saying that you're wrong. No, no. I want to make sure I'm clear. You're not wrong. I know. You're not. It's just that it's the seven billion people on this planet. People move differently, and that's what you. I feel. Instead of you trying to tell me I'm wrong, I want you because you have never a, said, I've never been, we well, have you, not you, been talking about right or wrong. No, you're not, you're not saying that I'm right and you're not saying that I'm wrong either. But your energy says that I'm wrong. Oh, so so what energy. I'm trying to say, my in life, people move a certain way in this game. And that's why it's called life. That's why when you watch the news and you see people going through problems, you watch, um, you read things on Instagram, you see the issues. Everybody, and we go, oh my God, I can't believe someone did that. That's life. Life does happen. Yeah, the life does happen. So regardless if it's one time, regardless of seven times, regardless of 15 times, does it make it wrong for that person? To, if you're morally when you correct, gonna, when are you going to learn the give, lesson? You know, the lessons learned. But here, give me an example. I, because my you're shooting powder. My at this uncle, point. <laughs> my, no, 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 not shooting powder. My <laughs> uncle's eighty something years old. This is my mother's brother. Uh huh. And we talked just a few years ago. Okay. And he feels the same way you do. And I, and I, and when I do it, I feel bad, right? So I said, he said, "Hey, Terrence, 
how you doing? And he said, how are the kids? And one day we talked, this was years ago, he said, I said, I have seven kids. He said, Terrence, you got seven kids? And he, I know his energy is what you're saying, right? right? So I'm thinking about my mother. I'm thinking about my dad. And I know if they was alive, they will be like, wow, T. But what I'm trying to tell people who does go down that path is don't never feel bad about what you've done. Accept what you've done. So you don't wind up being depressed. You have to go see therapy. And if you accept what you've done, it feels better as a man. It doesn't mean your life is perfect. I'm quite sure you got other things in your life. You may not be a thing with children, but just like they saying you're a narcissist and you probably don't believe it. Well, here's the thing. No, let me finish. Do you know know what narcissism is? No, no, no. Everybody uses that word and throws it out there, but that's not what I'm trying to say. But that's why I don't pay attention to them. But what I'm trying to say in life, and this is just me to you because you're beautiful, you're intelligent. Be open-minded to know that the world is not perfect. Be open-minded to know that people do do certain things and that's just the way their life is. And I th- think it, that- it doesn't approve to you, but it, it, but that's my life. I had to live with my life and I chose the way I live and I can accept so- it. Like I'm against people being gay and homos, but I have to accept it because that's their truth. That's their life. I'm not going to condemn them. I don't like it. Just like you don't really like what I'm doing. Or, uh, it's not that I don't like what you're doing. What I The only thing that I, I don't like and again, there's a there's a difference, right? Because sometimes when you come cool, calm, collective, mm-hmm. and you speak like that, I'm very, I speak with my hands. I'm yeah, passionate I love it. when I'm I talking, and right. I go right. So, and some people who don't have the experience or the knowledge or don't read a book might not understand the fact that just because you're saying these things that sound good, right? There's also a pattern of behavior. Yes, right? but you. Th- so and I and, and I'll go into this because it also shows to a character. I asked you earlier this morning on the show. I said, "Would you, if you find out that there's a, a friend of yours, a male friend, because you're a male, mm-hmm. you have a male friend who is abusive to his wife, mm-hmm. puts hands on his wife, it's a mm-hmm. cheater, and you know this for a fact. It's not like it was a rumor. You know mm-hmm. this for a fact. Mm-hmm. Would you continue yes. to stay friends with him? I, and I would. Can you explain that? Yes, to me? and I explain that the reason why because I've had a friend. Mm-hmm. who was like that. And I could only voice my opinion. I could only tell the person how they should move. Mm-hmm. But I'm a true friend. And if my friend did something like that, I, I check them. I hope that they grow. And one of my friends did grow. And this is when we were kids, not now. Mm-hmm. It's all right. So we're talking 30. about as an adult. Oh, no, not as an adult. As an adult, you know as this person? If, even if like I had when you're a, 17, 18, I if get I, it. Yeah, if I had a friend in their 60s now and they did something like that and they've been my friend for over 40 some years, I would still be their friend and go, why would you do that? Because I would be upset so with that So you would continue person. to break bread with them? You continue to I will have continue dinners with to, them? Uh, um, uh, I will continue to break bread with them because if they go to prison or they wind up dead, that's their choice. Then I could do all I can do is give you good advice, like yo, you shouldn't. But do clearly, that. they're not taking your advice, so I think it shows more to um, a person's character. Because I'll flip it around. If I mm-hmm. knew there was a woman, I could never be friends with a woman who won. There's women that keep. Now, their what children. is your name? Huh? What is your name? Carla, man. Okay, now why? Now, Carla, you're your own individual, right? But I'm, asked, so I'm, I'm about to explain Listen to, to you what I'm trying to say. You, you're absolutely right, but that's how you Correct. will move. I am not trying to change what, you. Yes, but what I'm trying to share with you that you now, I told you earlier, you listen to reply, you don't listen to comprehend. I was literally every, about to give you a complete. This well, I wasn't even going there. But what I'm saying is everybody moves. Okay, and you just explained to me why you would stay, yeah. stay friends with a woman beater. Yes. Well, see how you see how you're phrasing it? It's a lot oh, of it's you a, would stay friends with a man that puts their hands ever so not gently on a woman. No, no, no. What I'm saying to you, I would tell the person, don't put your hands and on you a woman. And you would continue to put If that's my friend, friends, that's my friend. How, I'm not, how, I'm not okay. gonna cut you off after I told you, like, yo, you gotta stop hitting that. And they female. keep doing it. If they keep doing it, you, you, you try to get that person help. You try, this is your friend. And then you're like, but you I'm not there. He's not hitting me. I can just now, continue. If, 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 now, murderer, give me an example. No, okay, well, wait. Can I get, tell you what yeah, I'm Yeah, but you? I'm going to give you an example. Let's mm-hmm. take OJ and his situation that happened. Mm-hmm. Let's go back to the 90s. You was a baby. Okay, I was a OJ, born. yeah, you was a baby. <laughs> you wasn't even born? No, I think I was. Okay, so OJ had friends. Uh-huh. They loved OJ. Mm-hmm. They loved him. Mm-hmm. They know OJ. They know what happened. I don't know. I, I was little. But they stayed his friend. There's people on this planet that have been murderers. There's people on this planet that have killed people. There's people on this planet that has abandoned people. There's people. 
But people, if they love that person and they you accept their flaws and their mistakes, that that's your friend. Okay. You don't have to put up with them like you used to. You could put them on the shelf and keep it moving. But in life, if you if you have a true bond, you say, "Yo, I'm really like I really appreciate what you're doing. I love you." You get a person through their situation, and then you fall back a little bit. But we're not here to judge. I, now, I'm, there are some things that's a deal breaker: rape, pedophile. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's why when you ask me these questions, it's very small for me because I don't roll with a bunch of people like that. And my friends got themselves together. My friends from high school, my friends from college are all successful. And we don't now I don't think they have those problems because I'm not in the so, um, okay. closed doors. So going back, you're saying your cutoff point for a friend is rape, pedophilia. I have been in a situation where I saw a woman, like there are women that truly keep their kids away from parents, just be, from the dads because they're bitter. Yeah, or yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. Like, I, I agree. Yeah. I can never say I like, say oh, that. all men are staying away or they're deadbeats. Mm-hmm. There are some women that are also either yeah. deadbeats, there are women that also keep yes, their children true. away. I have been in a situation personally where I knew this woman was being vindic- vindictive. Mm-hmm. She was being wrong. I can't be friends with you. I spoke to you about it. I said, yo, let this shit go. Okay, he moved on. He's still a great father. He's still there. Stop trying to take him to court for child support when he has him half of the week. Mm-hmm. And she continued to move that way. Yes. I had to separate myself from her. Yes. But you also separated yourself from her because she also had a probably a horrible personality. I, Normally people that do things, that, they have so a horrible ama- personality. I feel like my opinion. Okay. A man who's a woman beater, a man who is a habitual cheater, mm-hmm. a woman who is conniving, mm-hmm. a woman who is vindictive, any any human being who do, do things like that, that also spills over to the other aspects of their life. That is part of your character. Well, here's the thing about what you're saying. So too. if you're willing to do I, that to them at some point in our friendship you're going to do something to me and that's to you i don't roll with people like that so i see what you're saying i don't, I and just, I don't have too many friends but yeah. those friends that i trust i'm vulnerable but with I'm, I'm close yeah to. but my friends don't move like that i don't have friends like that you was just asking me if that happened right it's, everybody, it was definitely everybody a around because everybody around me is, is is on point my point that i'm making is um if you know someone's like that and you roll with it, really a person like that, um, it comes down to decision making. It comes to the kind of person you are. doesn't mean that you're bad. It also shows you that um, you could be a victim if you um, don't play your hands right because everything is about character. Everything is about how you move through life. Mm-hmm. And all my experiences from children to things I've seen in my life, I voice it on my social media all the time about choices, who you roll with. Um, have your life together, have your money together, everything that you're talking about, because um, you're my kid's age. So mm-hmm. um, my wisdom, my experiences goes out into the world to make sure that I'm not perfect, but I'm still a fly-ass nigga, you know? <laughs> like, bottom line, I, I ain't perfect, but I'm still a fly-ass nigga. And I, I'm confident mm-hmm. enough to say that. The thing that we all here learning, I'm learning from you. Like I'm seeing the passion. I'm saying, but what gets you across? Because you raise your voice a little, and I'm into, and I'm and into, you, and I'm you in, do elevator voice. Yeah, I'm into energy. And see, when you get that, people are influenced by that energy, and it makes you, it makes people think you're right. Meaning, if I, no, watch this, yeah, no, not if you have your own brain and watch, your own thoughts. Watch this, what I'm about to tell you. If somebody was in that room. And they saw the way you was acting, mm-hmm. they would swear you was right. I don't because think that gives you right or wrong. It's energy is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but also you have to use discernment. That's, and I have to listen to what you're saying and have my own opinion on that, right? We're we not all have saying opinions. that you're wrong. I'm just saying what it sounds like. So when the I'm energy, saying- My energy sometimes can give aggressive. Yeah. And that's, sometimes people take that as being right. And mm-hmm. one thing I've learned because I'm older than you <laughs> is not to say that you're wrong. <laughs> See, 20 something years ago, I'd argue with you. I've not once said you're wrong yet. Well, I'm saying no. I'm not saying, but here's what I'm saying at 63. I'm saying that you're not wrong. I'm saying, I'm saying we all are entitled to our opinion. And Absolutely. you have to take time to hear someone's opinion. And I say that they're right. You have to say to yourself, hmm, let me be open minded to hmm. see. Let me Sounds be open minded like to see where that person is going. Because I told you something earlier as well. I would love to see you 34 years from now to see what kind of person you become. 
You might still be here. I hope, I pray you might that I get 34 more summers. You might still we, but be we here. friends forever, though. We friends forever. <laughs> you, my people. You know what I'm saying? You no. Know, she, um, honestly, I think that my style of speaking, especially when I'm passionate about something, mm -hmm. it's, I'm not everybody's cup of tea, and I love that. I'm not everybody's shot of whiskey. But you're going to be great. I, so to be great, you have to be... You have to listen and understand. That's going to come with years of experience Well, and see, wisdom. I do that. We we had so many conversations outside of this, right? So right yes. now, it's, this is a one-hour recording, but we already spent hours this morning at the yes, radio yes, station. Yes. But I'm still already... saying about your personality. I watched you. See, I study from as soon as I meet someone. Mm -hmm. I've seen your energy. I saw the way you move on the radio. I love everything about you. I can't wait to... Um, as the foam settles in a gl glass of champagne. You know the champagne is good, but you know it's really gonna be good when the, when the bubbly go down. Mm -hmm. And what you are is that first glass of champagne. And as the years go on and you obtain different knowledge from everybody else, my suggestion, because I can't tell you what to do, my suggestion is as you get older and, and get wisdom and knowledge from all walks of life, because guarantee, you are gonna interview a lot of people in 34 years. Absolutely. A lot of people in 34 years. And you take a little something from everybody and apply it so that when the next person that sits in your desk as years go by, you use your wisdom and experience to listen to them and say, hmm, I can see how that can probably work for that person, but it's not, doesn't work for me. Because my uncle, when you- What when, I know- Yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead. You're gonna go to your uncle, I know you have to wrap up. Uh -huh. It's the fact that I produce so many shows, right? Yes. So podcasting is my career. Yes. Right? Not from the mic to the production to amplifying black and brown voices mm -hmm. only. Mm -hmm. I have been in this for seven years. Not one have I interviewed anyone else that's not black or brown because I feel like our voices being amplified are so important. Yes. Also, why I don't just take any client, right? Mm -hmm. Our voices are so impactful. Yes. we. It's so important that we put out there information that's going to help our youth do better, but also not just say it, live it. Yes. We have to live it. We have to live by example. And have I been perfect? Hell no. In my 20s, was I wild and I was always like this ready to fight and go off? And yes. But also there's this thing that with me, of course, now being in my mid-30s, it's like you grow up and you're like, well, you ain't got to put your hands on everybody. You know? Not everything deserves a response. Now, this is the podcast. Absolutely responding because what the hell am I going to do? I can't do a podcast staying quiet. But what did you just say that was phenomenal? I want to hear if you heard yourself. I don't know, but I'll play it back later. I'm going to tell you what you what you said that was phenomenal, and that's me. Everything I've been saying since the beginning. <laughs> you evolved as a young woman. Abs and there's still so much growth. And that's my point. So you, all you just did was take what I said for the last 20, 30 minutes and made it your own where I said the same thing. But I'm saying so, today. So let me explain to you where I'm going with that. Where I'm going with that is we all come from somewhere. We all make mistakes. You said you was crazy. You used to fight everybody, and now you're this different young lady. What I'm saying to you is that what you're doing, I do. What you're doing, I do with the world. And I express, I share my thoughts and my experiences. Um, some people are going to agree. Some people are not going to agree. That's what life's about. When you sit and see the different comments that we see around right. the world, right? It goes to show you that everybody is entitled. Their, their, their journey was different than ours. I'll, so your the journey, only thing, there's going to be people who agree with you and, and disagree. There's going to be people absolutely. who agree with me and disagree. disagree but does it make them time. wrong? No, because everybody's basing their decision on their path. We I always use this scenario. We all um, have a flight pattern in life. Mm -hmm. Some people are out at different altitudes in life. Some people can't land because during their flight pattern, they've created so much debris on the runway, they can't land. They can't TK. be comfortable. I'm trying to put my game out there and well, let me finish. Jesus. So um, she gets mad at me because I talk slow and, and I do. Two X. You know what I'm saying? I know. She, we talk slow. My brain's but going. We are here to agree and disagree and we hold each other uh, accountable for our choices and it's checks and balances. And we I love it. We have to hold people accountable. Yeah, we got to hold think people I accountable. I want people holding me accountable yeah. all the time. If I do something that is like, yo, and like That's I said, not cool. If, I want someone that loves me to tell I will, me. I will. I've done that. I checked them. And these people will, I mean, from crime to, we, we, I check them all. And then you wish those people the best. Like I had a couple friends go to prison. And I was mad because the first time I helped them, I paid the attorney and everything. And they did. 
got right back in trouble with the same people. But I love this person so much that me and this person are still friends today because I love, and I've seen him change and become a great man. That's friendship. Yes. I think that, like you said, you have your non-negotiables with a friend. So yes. you're like pedophilia and rape. Mm-hmm. For me, a woman beater, a woman that lies. Yes, yeah, and, and, and or, that's or that. even, yeah. even anything at, at this point in my life, physical abuse. Yes. And, um, and you're sharing that because obviously someone hit you before, correct? Someone has, yes. Yeah, and, and, and that hurts. Um, so even it better actually, hurt. when I, and I've talked about this, Yeah, I grew up the way that I grew up, physical abuse wasn't even what impacted me the most. To me, it was more of the mental that happened. The mental abuse? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's horrible too. I think too. that, and not yeah. to, some people get mad at me. They're like, oh my God, physical abuse is terrible. It doesn't come without mental. I know. Relax. Calm down. I get it. Uh-huh. Like been there. Okay. But to me, when I think of, because I grew up the way that I did, bruises go away and when i explain i'm like my bruises go away that pain that i felt mm-hmm. you know i'm like ah that goes away i'm i feel fine now physically right, right? it's what stays behind mentally. i totally agree so to me that's what stayed behind but and that's why i feel so strongly I one tell. about physical abuse mm-hmm. against the woman because although there are women out there who put hands first and are aggressive and whatever else yes i feel the same way about them right that's one two um the only thing that I feel kind of like, ah, when it comes to having seven kids with seven women, it's just, I know what a child needs. Yes, darling. I you know? agree with you 1,000%. And it's like- But the, but the reason why I got to pause you right there, that's how come when you see the video, I said, I would never do it again because of what you're saying. I know what that takes. I know that that uh, a father- So you understand, would you now today say- Babe, that's it what It would have been better- but it's just, I don't understand why you're I had to take not, seven you're, you're kids to do that. You're not comprehending. I you, am comprehending. Be, be, because you're the messenger. Maybe it's the messenger is good, but I don't me. like the messenger. Okay, well, no. That could be it. That could be it. But you, I want you to comprehend what I'm saying. What I said is what you're saying. But words matter, right? So where you're like, mistakes. and this is It that, doesn't matter. This is still 16 years ago. My point that I'm making is... It was my life. That's how I chose to do it. Correct. And and does it, also, it doesn't, but here's the thing. It doesn't make it right though. Correct. I'm down for that. But I can't apologize because I'm a man. And when you're a man, you accept the choices that you make. But you can also say, you know what? No, no, I no. fucked up. No, and no, I'm no. sorry for not doing no, no, better no. back then. Here's I know better now. I'm sorry you're for not missing doing better. A, you're missing the point again. That's what the video is saying, not in your words. You said mistake. No, no, no. You're not in your words. It, it, it is a your mistake words. when you when you have a sex and it's not planned, and a woman gets pregnant. That's not a mistake. Why you think men leave? That's not a mistake. No, no, no. You, you, cho- got, you made a choice. Here's the thing about what people don't understand in life: if you didn't know your children until after, because after you have kids, you say, "Oh, I love my child." But if you never met that child, you wouldn't say that. That's why people get abortion. Why you think that the Supreme Court was so powerful? People think that women were saying you can't tell a woman what to do with her life. It's just that women out there um, sexing so much that they make the mistakes. Give me an example. That's the, not a mistake. So words it, it, matter. It, it, it's yeah, not words. A okay, it, it's There's still a, a mistake if you get an abortion. It's a choice. If you, it's, it's not a mistake. mistake. A cho- okay, you had to okay. mistake choice. Okay, we just disagreeing on two words because words matter. Okay, so here's my point. When a woman has sex and she gets pregnant, she doesn't want it, it's okay for that woman not to have the child. When a man wants the kid, when a woman gets pregnant and the, and, and he, she doesn't want to keep it, a man got to sit back and deal with the consequences. And 90% of men who out here banging women don't really want to have a child with that woman because what so happens- So why have sex uh, unprotected? Uh, 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 we're not going to do that because we know this exists. We, you can't so change the my, game. Absolutely. The but my game question, is there. The game was here before. If you're Let me here, you're the, the wise man. The game is here before us. Let so me finish. Listen. And the game's going to be here after we're gone. This is the way this game is played. Black we, Dumbledore. Yeah. Old man with wisdom. Yes. The question to you is, yes. if you're now 60 some odd years old, mm-hmm. you're telling the man, we can't change the game, but can you say out of your mouth, you're a man, you can choose to strap up. You can choose to you're get a vasectomy. Not, you can choose to not, not get right. a man so a what woman did, pregnant. What you can the, make that choice. So what did the video say, babe? 
It said a mistake. That get wasn't past a mistake. that word. Get past that word. It said you wouldn't do it what again. El- and what you else wouldn't did, have children. What else did I say? What else did I say in the video? You said it was a mistake. You wouldn't have children. Right. Wear, wear a condom and don't do it no more. What I'm saying is. So then why beg you gotta, for a child you gotta and read, then you're not there? No, you got to read between the lines. So what about the men that beg for children once they get the child? That's the, they got to deal with that. Who does? The, the, the father and the mom. How, that's what you're how, how does he deal with it? See, because women will say the father's a bum. But I always say that if you say the baby daddy's a bum, that means you was easy to fuck. But I, what if they weren't easy to fuck? What if it was an entire, like, we got to get off birth control. We got to plan it. We have this whole well, thing that's about ha- it. Well, that's what happened to you. That's why you feel that way. Because it's not always like that. There's, that's there's predicaments my... like mine where we have, you know, counseling with the pastors and the therapist here's and making sure I, that this is what we want to do. Get what off I'm, birth control. Try it. Be intentional I'm, about it. And then you're like, Poof. what did I say earlier? So it, I let's, said, so let's men, focus on that. you got caught up in a habitual liar. That played on you. On and he, everybody. And this is the facts of life. And it happens to thousands of women. And we we move on, we learn from it, and everybody goes on with their lives. Some lives turn out to be better, some lives turn to be messed up. Some women go some on. Get finessed some finessed. women, some women go on to be successful, some men go on to be successful. True. This is the game of life. And this is a hard game. This game of life ain't for kids. You, you got to be tough to live in this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. This, this thing, life is very, very, and you, and you got to finesse it, and you got to outthink life. You got to out, you got to put things together to put yourself in position. Nobody is wrong. You try to make things better and play the hand that you dealt. And if you play the hand that you dealt, things will be a little better. But if you look at this person's life, and say, oh, I want to be like him, but you can't. You'll fuck around, be depressed. Mm-hmm. You can't take out everybody's life. You got life. some people that want to be like you. And I would tell And they'll them, stress out because they, they could, you're at the right place at the right time. There's so you much. You move a certain way. Everybody can't do that. And that can cause stress. So that's what we're talking about. That I, I just love the sister. No, <laughs> no, I, I definitely, I bring all this because one, you're older, but I just want people to understand for at least my listeners, right? Yes, yes. And people that gravitates towards my energy because yes. you have your fans that gravitate yes, towards yes, your yes. energy. They like your smooth, slow, and I'm, and I'm elevator saying, talk. And Carla, I have to say that you're right. Listen to me. I'm not saying you're wrong. I, what you're saying is what I'm trying to preach in my own way. I don't want, I want men to To use protection. Understand Get a protection. vasectomy. And I want men to be in their kids' lives. Yes. I understand. That's what I'm trying to say. And I just feel like we also have to lead by example. So when I'm out here screaming all of these things from yes. the mountaintops, it's right? too late for me for- to lead by example. All I can do is just tell my, my kids are here. Right. And, so- and, 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 and I'm, go- I'm going to address something when you say the word mistake. Word mistake or choices. The bottom line is I love my children. The bottom mm-hmm. line is could I have been a greater father? Absolutely. But in life... This is how life treated me. If I go around talking about, man, I wish I could have God, man. Now I'm drinking. No, no I'm just no, saying. We don't want now, to do that. Yeah, now I'm drinking. I'm depressed. Yeah. You know? Like, I'm to the point in my life, I'm, 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 I'm a man. If, 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 if I wasn't in my kids' lives the way they want, and I tell my kids this, listen, I fucked your mom one night. You had a kid. We, you was born. So hopefully one was day- one you, night? Were they all one night yeah, stands? Yeah, three was one night stands. Shit. So my thing is, if, 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 if you're mad at me, and when I'm old and gray, you don't want to come see me in the assistant living or I'm dying, I'm not that nigga. I'm not going to be worried about you coming to visit me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not that kind of man. All I want, and this is what I want young men and women, if you, got, you gave your child life, and you did the best you could, now it's up to that child to take this gift that you gave him, and it's a gift of life. And I don't like excuses, I believe, and you go ahead, you bust your ass, you get your life together, and whatever obstacles you have in your life, you try to overcome them. Now everybody ain't gonna make it, because the world ain't set up for everybody to make it. You're gonna have pitfalls, and I mean, this thing goes to the, the strong. You have to overcome. Yeah, you gotta overcome them. All I want, um, to but come what out you're of saying this. is 100 percent right. For and anyone listening, to be if like, you're gonna oh my be God. a dad, if you're gonna be a dad, pick that girl you want to be with, and but, that's not and it's on, not no guarantee. Because it's I, don't, guarantee. I think being a parent, dad, mom, whatever, being a parent doesn't always have to do. You might get to a point where you just don't no longer fuck with that person. You might not like them anymore, but that's not that child's fault, right? Yes, but see, we're saying two different things. So I'm saying you could be with the father and mother, and it breaks up. It's still the same thing if the father's not around. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like. You might not, you might no longer like me, right? But that's what I'm but saying. But still, be a dad, and but that's I just what I'm want saying life. 
older, well, all, all black and brown men that are here, and hopefully we can go towards this, is hold other men accountable. And I think they do. The thing that we had to, and it's so many things. I see it more now. I see more people All like I cutting want, folks off and saying, I'm not going to be around you if yeah, you can't do better. But but I want people, and see, that's your journey. My journey is I want men to really like the person that they sleep with. But I'm saying now once that child is here or those mistakes have been made, whether it's yeah, putting being a kid's on life. people, I agree. Whether, just no matter what it is, hold people accountable. Yes. And if they choose to not do better, do not continue to reward them. Yes, but see, again, your energy and passion comes because of your baby daddy. This is well, no, no, there's other people. No, no, no. no but it's, it's not just baby watch daddy. What I'm about to tell you, your energy is based on your personal experience. My personal experience. That's yes. what I'm trying to say. It's this is, and I see it. This is your personal experience. Yeah, I have to hold be, anyone around me has to, what, to be held yeah, accountable. This is what I'm Woman, because man. Because Anybody. Of your experience, but there are men out here who do try to do the right thing, and then yes. there's women out here that push men away. Which is what I'm trying to tell you. I hold those women accountable. Now watch what I'm trying to say, and that's life. Men got to deal. I got a friend who loved his daughter. The baby mama took the girl. He ain't seen his daughter in night. He don't even know where they there are. There has to be a woman out there holding that woman accountable if that's the case, right? Because there's also women that be like, oh, he beat me. He didn't beat you, girl. He lied. But that's my point. We don't know, right? But and when we, you do know, yes. when we do know, there's people yes. that we know. Yes, right, right, there's right. Fun. Let's not talk about like what we, oh, it might mm -hmm, be, mm -hmm. might not be. It's what we know for a fact. If I don't you, know nobody like that. Okay, so I do. Okay. Right? I've met, I've been through them. Mm -hmm. I can say for me, I've been great. I've been lucky enough or mm -hmm. grateful enough to have people that have seen what have happened mm -hmm. and said, I'm going to hold that person accountable. Mm -hmm. I have held other women accountable. It's mm -hmm. like, you don't do that and I'm not going to help you. Oh, can you help me with your attorney to do this? I will not so help you. So now let me share to you what you, you okay, said, TK, don't, don't use the word mistake. What I want you to do is understand when you tell these stories, I want you to say, based on my personal journey. Based on my then, experience, everybody when, should be held because accountable. when you say that, people understand that better. Because you're, that's why you're so passionate. Because you have actually experienced. I mean, that's why that I don't journey. say all. I never say all men. Or yeah, I'm all just, women. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I will I'm, never throw a percentage out I'm there because I don't I'm, know I'm, all men and women. I'm with you one thousand percent. And like I said, um, my thing with you is that video that I put out about that is truly saying what you're saying from a senior citizen perspective. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it, it's, just, it's just different words, but we're saying the same yes. thing. And what I've learned with dealing with, with on these podcasts, I had said something a while ago, how you should, um, you gotta give a woman game or a teacher and that upset a lot of women. And I said something to myself, I forgot to say, you should never tell a woman what to do, but you can say, may I make a suggestion? It comes off better. It comes off respectful. And that's what I've been trying to tell you this whole time. Yeah. Words matter. Words, I Words totally agree. Words have meaning I behind totally it. I totally agree. And that's when people will be like, oh, a mistake. Or no, 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 let no. me dumb it down for you. Yeah. Or this might... Those words yes. really matter. And, 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 and you're just so passionate. Some people know how to let, let it just brush up the shoulders. Not you. You 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 don't know how to duck. You well, don't know how to you know, move you know, out the you way. Know, no. You know when I don't duck? When I don't duck? When I'm doing stuff like this. Okay. Outside of here. Yeah. Unless you fucking with my kids and my money, right. you can't get a reaction out of me. Okay. Okay. Respect. Not one reaction, Respect. which is why I'm in the position in life that I am. Yes. Now, this, if I come on a podcast and I'm like, yeah, yeah that's cool. Right, right, yeah, right. I mean, I'm not going to be where I'm at. Right, You know, right, here right. is when I show my passion. I throw yes. it out there and I go home I and respect, I'm like- I respect it, I'm baby. Like, I respect The bank it. account look good. Okay. The clients keep coming in. Right, because right. why am I going to let you bother me? Right. I don't- I, Again, don't fuck with my kids. Right. Don't fuck with my money. Yes. And we're good. Are we, are we on the same and, page? Like, that's where it goes. But when I come page. here on the space, people that don't know me- because And can you give a shout out? Can tell people to follow me on my Instagram? We're going to We're going to work on him. <laughs> His Instagram is TK. Let me see. Let me put my old man glasses on. <laughs> Don't go on reading up, people. That's your people. Uh, we'll definitely tag his Instagram. He is uh, his comedy. He wouldn't be. You wouldn't have lasted in comedy as long as you have if you're not um, great at what you do. Pay attention. Come on. Bring your old glasses over here. We're going to talk about a man that's older than you okay. in a second. Where, we go? Where am I um, going? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're going to wrap up. This is TK Kirkland. You're on tour for a while. A oh, yeah, while. yeah. I was, I, you know, tours where people go out on the road once in a while. You're this is a job. <laughs> this is a job. Yeah, I'm working. Stand -up. Yeah, everywhere. Um, this week, um, the improv, um, 
in Orlando, Orlando, Florida, mm -hmm. this Sunday at the world famous on Zanies. Um, well, this, this won't come out for a couple of weeks. But they, okay, where cool. can they get all yeah, your tours? Yeah, um, on TK underscore Kirkland or go to TK.network, my own network, um, to see all my interviews, see my my my, eight, my comedy special and all my dates. I'm truly excited. And um, I'm happy. I'm happy that um, I'm a senior citizen still working. Um, I'm happy that I'm here with a beautiful young woman and I truly wish you greatness. Because I like to see this. I like to see how nine years ago you wasn't even doing nothing like this. And I didn't even understand what um, podcasting was. I was you know, calling the iPod. That's crazy because I actually just reconnected with um with the next mime. Uh -huh. Just nothing like that. It was uh -huh. after six years we finally spoke. Right. And this was the person who, when I first started this, didn't understand. He's older as well. Yes, he's right. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, right. So at the time he's like, you what, what was it it didn't make sense and i'm like just trust me i was an accountant making six right, figures right like, i had a career he's like why would you leave your career and we this is the first time he's talked to me because we mm -hmm. broke up i went on and mm -hmm. then now this is me mm -hmm. he met he saw the accountant and now he was like yo you got everything you ever wanted right and all i wanted was support but someone who doesn't understand it can't they don't support understand you. if they're if they don't understand where i'm coming from if you don't have that same view of mine i can't expect someone especially who works, in because this is new right podcasting still fresh new worth to right? us is that yeah is that is new to us and it goes over people's heads and that's why I try to teach about podcasting. If you're going to get into this, find a way to make your money. Some people just do it, get the equipment and yeah. all that, sit in the basement and just interview. Like, yeah, dog, you're wasting time. Well, they can do that. There's some of them that really, like, hold it. No, no. And make what I'm money saying is, and they do all that, but yeah, just, like get try to find that check if you're gonna have it. Absolutely, things, I'm not just gonna waste time babe, recording. You I, know this, right? People say they got a podcast. They don't make no money. And not making no money. Do I want y'all to make money. And I can and find a way when you don't even don't even start unless you know. Let me tell uh, you. Don't even start unless you get my. Let me tell you some hood hustle. Well, we gotta go. We gotta okay, go. no, here's some hood hustle. If you start a podcast, you could actually see. Go you just went on two X. You yeah. could have talked faster this whole time. You 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 can go into the hood and get people like the. Uh, let me promote your business mm -hmm. and get twenty dollars from different stores mm -hmm. and just have they stuff on your thing. I used to do to fifty dollars ads. You understand what when I'm saying? When I started, saying. fifty dollars ads. That you understand what I'm saying? Locally. I had a friend tell my friend the other day. I saw a couple years ago TK selling DVDs out the trunk of his car. Not knowing that I was making hundreds of thousands selling DVDs out my car. And that's why I love to do what I do and not speak on what I got. Yes. Because it is what it is. But we're going to end this show right now. You, Just like lady. every single week. I let you guys know if you're looking to start a podcast, IdealLaunchPodcastProductions.com or IdealLaunchPodcast.com. I am the producer of yes, No For are. Sure Podcast with B. Simone and Megan Ashley. I am the producer of Holding Court with Ebony K. Williams. I, I am the it. producer of Pivot With Purpose. I am the producer of a show coming out now with Will Packer and iHeartMedia. I am the producer of another big show that's coming out and we're going to be launching in December. I've had my podcast production agency now for three years years yes, been in the yep. podcasting space for seven we have done over 50 million downloads over two million in revenue in the last two years awesome. so i do want to let you guys know i know what i'm doing don't take on any client have a purpose in your voice mm -hmm. our voices are super impactful they are powerful so a podcast is very important i brought you on here still thinking like ah we knew i might gonna... not agree with everything that you do yeah. but as long as you continue to better not you but like anyone continues to better themselves it's great you have made the choices that you made your kids are already here you've already done so so hopefully within time choosing our words wiser i can't wait until i'm 63 years old uh, like and, you uh, are right. and i have completely different views of yes. the life and our kids and will could be you different. do me a favor i'm not here on this planet when you get 63... I'll send you a little dub. No, play this video. <laughs> I want you to play this video and see how much you change. That's what I would like for you to do. 60, I got you. 70, oh, I'll be 94 in 30 years, right? You, you might still 30. be here. You're 30 what? 36. Yeah. Ooh. You might be. You I might, might be, be here. here. Well, to wrap up this episode, every single episode, I wrap, I wrap it up with a Bible verse okay. um, because show, that's my foundation. Hands. By your heads. <laughs> We can take a prayer. I'm just kidding. We ain't gonna do this. Uh, I do. So I choose a just a verse and I talk about it real quick. Just it takes two seconds to close it out. That this is my foundation. Um, I have my my passions, and I also know that I wouldn't be where I am today if I didn't have faith, if I didn't have God behind me. Mm -hmm. Because I tell everybody I am mm -hmm. God's favorite, and there are so many people that will be like, I don't like who she is, or I don't like that. Take the time 
to see who I am. Like people, when they first meet you or, or just maybe hear clips of yours, they're like, I don't like her. Take the time to learn my story, why I speak the way that I do. There are folks that don't like uh, T.D. Jakes. There are folks that don't like Sarah Jake Roberts. There are folks that don't yeah, like some of the greatest people on this, that I believe are the greatest people That's on this earth, right? That's what I've been saying. Right? Oh, it's life. Like, it, it, it is what it is. It's just life. So... Here we go. Okay. Um, Proverbs 1 5, let the wise listen and add to their learning and let the discerning get guidance. So I brought this up because you're always talking about wisdom. Yes. And I feel like wisdom always comes to me from the one above. We listen, we have elders that we always get things from. You yes. lived a different life that I can definitely say sometimes, like, wow, like it was, it had to have been different 36 years ago when you died in Smash and I don't know. Mm -hmm. I wasn't mm -hmm. here. Um, they were making me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's important to know that there will never be a time in our life. When we have arrived, so-called, right? We've never arrived anywhere. Every year, every day, there's still a journey. We'll never be all-knowing. Mm -hmm. I don't know everything. I don't mm -hmm. think anyone, I know on, and not everyone on this earth knows everything. Yes. So which means that we're constantly students, we're constantly learning, and we're constantly through this process of just becoming better people. So of course, not perfect. I do have very strong opinions of where I am. I will sure. always have extremely strong opinions. Mm -hmm. And I'm also a person that can say, I can listen and say, you know what? I wasn't, I, that wasn't cool. Or what I did, or I can apologize. I, I, when there's a moment for me to apologize, I will apologize mm -hmm. to saying so. So we should always humbly be willing to listen, <laughs> <laughs> learn, and receive <laughs> guidance to continue our growth. So I do go in there, Proverbs 1.5, if you have ever opened the Bible, just have something that you, someone or a higher power that's more than us. Um... So that is another episode. TK Kirkland, thank you so much for being here. Welcome, I appreciate Dan. you. Take my behind over to Tampa now. Got to get out of oh, here. You got a date. A it's not a date. date. It's a date. It's not a date. Rub his back. No. Rub his back. No. Buy him, you want to buy him a drink? No. You asked him out. I, I got the tickets. But you asked him out. I bought the tickets. Okay. You asked this man out. I bought the tickets. Bought the tickets and we are going. And, now, and I got to buy a drink. Hopefully he'll buy the drink. Thank you. Yeah. I got the tickets. Okay, yeah. You, he yeah, got by okay. the drink, I had the to gas, take a second the food. I had to hit. The, I got yeah. two tickets. Yeah, yeah. He should. He's gonna be, hopefully, he'll pay for gas. Hopefully. He better. Right. He better, put, he, he better get out the car and put gas in the car. Absolutely. You're, you're spending the night there? No. You're going to come right back? Yeah. Why don't you spend the night? Coming home is only an hour and a half away. Oh, it's only an hour and a half? You should spend the night. Why? And snuggle. I, bye. See y'all later. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs>